Well, this is a story you'll see first on Fox. In Lawrence last summer, a video surveillance system recorded a cold-blooded murder. And until now, the only people who have seen this video, police and the victim's family. But in tonight's New England's Unsolved, Fox 25's Bob War going to give you the first look at this dramatic video. It's not every day a murder is recorded on video, but that's exactly what happened last July in Lawrence. This was a murder in cold blood committed in front of witnesses. But it's an unsolved case. Tonight, the victim's family and investigators are releasing this video first to New England's Unsolved with the hope that you can help catch a killer. You are looking at video of a murder about to happen. The victim, 20-year-old Timothy Walker, is sitting on his grandmother's front porch with a group of friends. He is completely unaware that this man, carrying a shotgun hidden behind his left shoulder, is about to take his life. It is nothing less than an assassination. Timothy Walker died several days later. He was shot once and suffered a massive head wound. Denise Murray is Timothy's mother. I always wish that I was on the porch that night and, you know, maybe it would have been me and not Timothy. Timothy Walker was the oldest of Denise Murray's three children. She readily admits her son was not perfect, that he was arrested for selling drugs and at the time of the murder was on probation and wearing an ankle bracelet. I'm not proud of that. But regardless, you know, he's my son and, you know, he didn't deserve what happened to him. Saturday night, July 24th, 2010, Timothy Walker is sitting on this patio at 375 Lowell Street in Lawrence with a small group of friends. It is a typical hot summer night. There is no hint of the nightmare these video surveillance cameras would soon record. He was really excited about turning 21. Unfortunately, he didn't get to turn 21 because he was murdered a month before his birthday. At about 9.30, video surveillance catches its first glimpse of a Nissan Murano. It appears the people inside are slowing down to take a long look at the porch where Timothy Walker is sitting. The Murano turns the corner and parks. For four minutes, the driver and a passenger appear to talk before the passenger door opens. A man steps out, and we get our first glimpse of a murder weapon. It's a shotgun. It's held uh, behind uh, to slightly to the left uh, by the perpetrator. He's attempting to conceal it as he walks down an open street in a deliberate fashion around the corner to approach um, uh, Mr. Walker. Other cameras catch the killer slowly approaching Walker, the gun always hidden. The killer vanishes out of sight for only a moment beneath a canopy, but this spray of dust reveals the deadly shotgun blast. You can see the concussion from that weapon in terms of the dust rising and then all the car alarms that go off as he runs from the scene, uh, runs away after you know, committing the murder. As he runs away, the killer appears to turn one last time towards the murder scene, his gun drawn, before escaping to the waiting Nissan Murano. It's a deliberate approach, uh, kill, and then running away from the scene. At Lawrence General, they said that he was shot in the head, but they said the bullet didn't go through. They didn't tell me it was a shotgun. They didn't tell me that they literally took off half of Timothy's skull. In Timothy's final hours, Denise Murray took this picture of her hand holding her son's. I called that photo a mother's last touch because at the funeral, it wasn't him anymore. Um, you know, it wasn't his flesh anymore. So that picture means a lot to me because I held his hand. Denise Murray and Essex County DA Jonathan Blodgett hope it is another picture these surveillance videos that will soon bring justice to Timothy Walker. You look in the eyes of a mother who's lost a child to needless violence. Uh, it, 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 this is why we do what we do, and we need. And that's why we need the public's help again. But we will keep working on this case until we get it solved. I didn't lose him because if I would have lost him, I would have went to go find him. He was taken. He didn't have a choice. He was just taken from me. Timothy Walker's mother said she promised to her dying son she would do everything she could to help find his killer. If you recognize the gunman in the video or the driver, call Lawrence Police at 978-794-5900. You can also call Massachusetts State Police at 978-745-8908. Timothy Walker's organs were donated to help five other people. To find out more about that and to take another look at that surveillance video, go to my Crime Files page at myfoxboston.com. For New England's Unsolved, I'm Bob Ward, Fox 25 News.